Hi there, and welcome to the latest edition of Talk Stocks Deal Flow. I'm your host, Keir Reynolds, and in today's video, we're excited to give you an overview on a company that we're a shareholder of, one called Happy Belly Food Group. It's a leading consolidator of emerging food brands and quick service restaurants, also known as QSR. With a focus on bringing innovative and delicious food concepts to consumers and backed by a proven and experienced management team that have a deep expertise in scaling QSRs, Happy Belly Food Group is poised to become a major player in the food industry. So why don't we dive in and discover together what makes this such a unique and exciting company? Happy Belly is a consolidator of emerging food brands with a dual pronged focus on CPG brands and QSR restaurants. Presently, they own majority stakes or have active LOIs with seven brands, five in the QSR space and two CPG brands. More on these later. My interest is really in the QSR side of things. You'll see in a moment. Why am I so fired up about the QSR side of things? Because management has a lot of experience over the last 20 years in building, operating, and scaling QSR brands. Some of the most iconic ones that you've probably eaten at. Two of these QSR brands, Extreme Pita and Mucho Burrito, have often been stops for me in the past. Happy Belly's core team founded Extreme Brands and scaled it to over 300 franchise locations before selling Extreme to the Mighty Food Group in 2013. From there, Sean Black continued on with Mighty, becoming their chief development officer, and was responsible for its portfolio of growth brands and franchising, while Mighty grew from $17 to $70 per share. Yes, you heard this right. That's not a typo. $70 per share. But wait, it gets better. They went and did it again. Founding Crave It Restaurant Group. There they developed four QSR chains and opened nearly 40 restaurant locations. And then in 2021, sold two of these QSR restaurant brands to Recipe Unlimited, then Canada's largest restaurant operator. Recipe has since itself been acquired by Fairfax Financial for $1.2 billion. Fast casual QSR is, shall we say, hot. Could lightning strike a third time? As I do in other sectors, backing management teams with serial sector success has been, pardon the pun, a recipe for success. Their focus this time, doing it via a public company structure so outside investors can hop aboard for the ride, is consolidating and scaling existing small to medium restaurant chains. Just in Canada alone, there are about 420 targets that represent nearly 6,000 locations and $6 billion in annual food sales. To be a successful public company, you have to have a big ambitious business model so we can check this box. The size of the prize is large. Here is Happy Belly's portfolio of brands. As mentioned, they have two divisions, QSR and CPG. Let's do a quick overview of a few of the more interesting QSR brands. Happy Belly has signed a binding LOI to partner on a 50-50 basis in a JV for the franchising operations of Piro Grill, a gourmet, fast-casual Greek restaurant serving bowls, wraps, and pitas with the fresh, wholesome tastes of Greece and the Mediterranean. Upon closing this deal, Happy Belly will consolidate all the existing and new business revenues and has also obtained the rights to acquire the remaining 50% of the business at its option. Based upon 2023 growth plans for Piro Grill, Happy Belly expects to open at least eight franchise locations that would operate under the joint venture. Gross system sales of $7.5 million are forecasted to be generated from the eight franchises to be opened. Of note, Cava, the Mediterranean restaurant chain modeled after Chipotle in the U.S., has confidentially filed for an IPO. It last raised money at a U.S. $1.7 billion valuation in 2021 and operates about 340 restaurants. We anticipate this to IPO at over $2 billion. Lady Glaze is an Ontario-based gourmet donut and dessert business with five existing locations and a 3,000-square-foot manufacturing facility. Happy Belly and Lady Glaze entered into a binding agreement for 50-50 joint venture between the parties for corporate expansion and growth of Lady Glaze. Also, with this deal, Happy Belly has the option to acquire the remaining 50% of the business. Unaudited financials of Lady Glaze yield over $2.1 million in sales revenue, with 30% average gross profit. Forecasts for 2023 indicate an organic increase through existing and net new store openings to bring total annual sales revenue to over $3 million. 
We look forward to hearing about future expansion plans, which should happen shortly after concluding closing of the deal. Another interesting QSR brand is Heal Wellness, a quick serve chain serving smoothies, bowls, and salads, and operates four Ontario locations. Happy Belly owns a controlling interest, and like each of their other brands, consolidates all revenues. The last QSR brand we'll quickly highlight is Lettuce Love Cafe, one that is seeing some tremendous growth momentum since closing their deal with Happy Belly. Lettuce Love, a well-known and established QSR in Ontario, serves delicious and healthy meals comprising of gluten-free bowls, soups, sandwiches, wraps, salads, and much more at competitive consumer price points. Since closing the acquisition of Lettuce Love and opening a new corporate store location in downtown Toronto, Happy Belly has just signed an area development agreement for the opening of 20 franchised restaurants in Ontario. We anticipate similar deals once the acquisitions close with Pirro and Lady Glaze. So, what does all this mean in terms of the revenue picture for Happy Belly? There's been four consecutive quarters of increased sales, with Q3 2022 revenue of $794,460, representing a year-over-year increase of 169%. For the nine months ended September 30th, 2022, revenue was $1,739,318, an increase of 89% over the same period a year earlier. We're interested to see Q4, 2022, which is due out around the end of the month. But anytime you double sales year over year, you are onto a winner. Gross profits are also up. They increased to 45% for Q3, 2022, a publicly traded high-growth food company delivering those margins is impressive to say the least, and approaches the margins of large caps like Yum! Brands that operate and franchise over 50,000 QSR locations in 125 countries. What we like to see when considering an investment in a small cap stock is that management and insiders own enough of the company to really care about growing it. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the upside worth all the time, effort, and abuse that management, directors, and insiders take in growing a small company? Happy Belly ticks the box here. They own approximately 14% of the common shares. But here's where things get really interesting. Like really interesting. When Sean, Alex, and Mark joined the company and its board of directors, they received performance warrants, 25 million of them that have an exercise price of 20 cents, but only vest at certain stock prices. 5 million vested immediately upon joining the board and all subsequent warrants vest at stock prices of between 50 cents and $2 per share. Talk about shareholder alignment. Yes, it comes with some dilution to the company, but their right to buy more shares only happens if they perform for us, the shareholders. If all are exercised prior to expiring in July 2026, this also cashes up the company with another $5 million from insiders. What we also look for is management and insiders acquiring shares in the open market. Again, we want to see skin in the game and alignment. If they are buyers and investing real money, then maybe it's not such a bad idea for me, an outside investor, to also acquire shares in the open market. This slide is just a small number of recent transactions, but I'd encourage you to hop on over to sadie.ca and look up all the open market share purchases by management and the board. This ticks a big box for me. I always look for market comparables when considering to invest, and one that hits close to home for Happy Belly is Mighty Food Group, ticker MTY on the TSX, a restaurant and QSR consolidator, and one that the core group of Happy Belly previously sold restaurant brands to and continued to work for. Outside of 2020, Mighty's chart is a thing of beauty, providing shareholders with more than 12,000% return. Wow, it continues to be a consistent dividend payer and has a market cap of over $1.5 billion. Could this be a case of history repeating itself? We'll have to wait and see. On March 9th, Happy Belly issued the above news. Seeing this news release is what got me motivated to finish up this video. It's clear that the momentum has begun, and they are ramping their QSR brand strategy. This sets up the growth mode for the Lettuce Love Cafe brand, and now I'm excited to see what comes when they finalize and close their deals with Lady Glaze and Pirro. Two very strong QSR brands, in my humble opinion. That sums up our brief intro of the Happy Belly Food Group. We hope to have a member of their management team join us in an upcoming interview, so stay tuned for this. Thank you for your time, and if you haven't already, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe.